Gemma, Tahira, Jimmy, how you doing today? Good, thank you. Good, Tara. How you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm from Big Gold Belt Media, and I'm here to ask all the questions. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, first question, um, what was something for, for you guys that you wanted to bring to your characters that you couldn't do in the first season? For me, certainly. Oh, sorry, T. No, 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 go for it, go for it. And for me, it was certainly the fact that um, Sarah has uh, grief in her past that we weren't able to explore in season one, that we are able to explore, given the fact we've got another episode in season two, that we're able to explore that that side of her family life a bit more. That was that was nice to sort of dig into some something personal for her. To hear her, please. <laughs> 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 um, for me this season it was bringing a more um, much more hardened Lizzie and um, following on from witnessing two people fall to their deaths um, in season one I think it was a bit of a no-brainer that she had to be um, there had to be some form of a change in her personality and um I just know that grief definitely, when it's quite fresh as well, um, it definitely changes you and it's something you carry around. And when it's quite raw and fresh, you are still carrying around a lot of hurt and anger about it. Um, so I just wanted to bring a little bit of that to Lizzie this time round, because I think in the first season, she was a little bit, she was a little bit softer. Um, right. And this time around, she's definitely a bit more hardened. Uh, for me, I want to bring a bit more fire to Steve, a little bit, have him a little bit more on the front foot. Uh, season one, you know, he was he was quite an observer and uh, I was really excited just to see Steve, you know, uh, confront people a bit more, you know, and sort of just, yeah. just go, go for it. And I, and I really enjoyed those scenes from this season too. And just to show that side of Steve that, there's a sense where he was an observer and he's very laid back, but actually, no, there's a, there's a fire in him. There's a dedication. And, uh, and I think we really get to see that in season two. You do. I saw you kissing your teeth, Jimmy. I want to just say this, the, the three of you actually absolutely killed it this entire season. I know the first season was amazing, but, this, this second season just takes it over the top. It, it just blew my expectations, but you guys definitely, you know, as far as acting goes, this is this is top tier. This is prestige television right here. <laughs> definitely. Thank you. Uh, now, I got a question. It's, it's, do do the, the police in the UK, do they really come into your house and ask for a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> I think quite often, like, the thing that's done is, like, I'll put the kettle on, isn't it? Like, yeah. come around, like if the police came around here with, you know, asking questions, I'd be like, if I can help with the case at all, I will. Should put the kettle on. So, yeah, <laughs> well, well, certainly for me, with the, that's the first thing you do if you, if you have a guest and a police officer would be a surprise guest. Put the kettle on, of course. I want you to leave, sir. <laughs> What's the American equivalent? Uh, don't open the door. I <laughs> mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's where it's at. Yeah. Don't open the door. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love um, that. Now, like I said, yeah. going into the second season, uh, you know, with with death message, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that you guys got this second season. I'm happy that it happened because I was like, please let them do this. Um, I'm happy, Jimmy, that you got more screen time because I feel like you that first series you were there for like maybe twenty, maybe half an hour of the show. You didn't, you didn't really have a lot. Like Gemma's character, obviously, you know, was the the main um, and Tahira. But what, what do you guys think that your characters kind of bring to each other's lives? Hmm, that's a good question. Conflict, Conflict and <laughs> pressure and commitment to a job that they all love and, a, and some sort of inextricable bond to the choice they've made with their career. And that I think they're really curious about each other and they admire each other, even though they've all got different ways of doing it. That's a brilliant answer. That's pretty yeah. honest. Exactly what yeah. Gemma said. And, and I think there's I think there's an understanding. Like, there's a mutual understanding with each other. You know, even even Steve with uh, like Lizzie, there, there was a sense that I feel like he got her. He knew her, even though like it was a new relationship. And then at right. the same time, 
I think with with Steve and Sarah there, that was quite so heartbreaking that that sort of relationship sort of broke up because they really sort of accepted each other and there was a knowing. And, I, and, and even though what I love about Patrick's writing, it's all within the nuance, you know? It's not there, but you can see how far uh, Sarah and Steve go back, you know? And you can see that they would have shared sort of information about their personal lives. And, uh, and I think that we each bring a, a sense of balance for each other, you know, in a, in a unique way, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't think there's anything more to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, look, I appreciate you guys. I, I really thank you for the time, for, for doing this with me today. You, Like I said, you absolutely killed it this season. I cannot wait for you to do book three, four, how many more in the series. Uh, to hear her leave that man alone, it's not going to work out. In the ah! <laughs> <laughs> Home wrecker! <I'm> like, <laughs> Home wrecker! <laughs> It's not going to work out. The heart wants what the heart wants. What can I say? <laughs> oh, my goodness. But again, thank thank you so much for doing this interview with me today, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you. And continue to keep doing this good work for the show. Thank, thank you, Terrell. Thank you for the love, thank Terrell. You so thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.